If you're a beginner drummer and you want to find your perfect pair of sticks without all the confusion and overwhelm digging through the hundreds and even thousands of options that are out there, then you're in for a great lesson today. I'll share with you the only three pairs of sticks that you need and why, and how to use these three sticks in your practicing and in your performing. You can do this. Let's dive in. Hey, welcome to The Non-Glamorous Drummer. I help beginner and intermediate drummers become the musicians others want to listen to and want to have in their bands. And we do this by teaching you the core fundamental skills that actually get you rapid results on the drums. And hey, if you are a beginner who is wanting to play songs, but you just don't know what to play, what grooves to play, what fills to play to get up and running playing your favorite songs, and you just feel kind of lost, I've got a special gift for you. This is my 25 Practical Rock Grooves and Fills PDF e-guide. This is really cool because it has notation for all these grooves and fills that you hear in 95% of songs that you're ever gonna wanna learn or play on a gig one day. And there's also audio recordings. And so you can listen to these, you can see them. This is gonna help you so much because once you learn these grooves and these fills, you're gonna be able to play almost any song that comes your way. This is literally your, your shortcut, your cheat sheet. So download this guide. It's gonna get you up and running fast if you're a beginner drummer so that you're playing songs and having fun on the drums. All right, on with today's lesson. We're talking about three really great drumsticks today. The first one literally is the most graceful, effortless stick that you'll ever play. It's really cool. A lot of drummers are not even aware of its existence. The second one is the stick that you can use for almost anything, pretty much your all-purpose stick. And then the last one is the stick that makes loud rim shots easy. It actually makes it easier to play loudly and basically sound like Bonham if you're playing that kind of stuff. And so these are the three sticks we're digging into. Let's dive into all the details. Stick number one is the 5A maple. It really is the most graceful, just effortless stick that just floats along. So the important thing here is that it's maple. And a lot of drummers aren't even aware that there are maple sticks. Most drumsticks are made of hickory. And most normal feeling sticks that we ever play are made of hickory. So they have a certain feel and a certain weight. But when you change the wood type, naturally you change that feel. There is such a thing as oak drumsticks that are crazy heavy that hardly anybody uses. But there are also maple drumsticks that weigh less than the hickory drumsticks. See, there's a challenge that every beginner drummer ends up dealing with. When, when you're getting started on the drums, it's difficult to develop that loose rebound that we're all told we need to develop, where we want the stick to just bounce freely and just have that loose, effortless kind of motion. It's very difficult to make sure that we're doing that when we first get started. It's not difficult once you get it going, once you learn how to do it. And there's plenty of videos here on the Non-Glamorous Drummer to help you with just that. But a lot of times we're actually using sticks that are maybe too big or too heavy to really do this easily. And I've noticed this especially with like young beginner students, like an eight-year-old kid, it helps so much to have maple sticks that are lighter weight. And there is no shame as an adult <laughs> to be using lighter weight sticks, especially if you're getting started and you're wanting something that naturally has that looser feel that enables you to just naturally float off the drums. If you're wanting to maximize your rebound and just that floating along kind of feel, maple sticks are so great. The Vic Firth 5A Maples. Vic Firth, by the way, so all the sticks that I'm demoing today are Vic Firth. You can find these size sticks by any stick maker, but Vic Firth calls this their American Heritage line. So these are the AH 5As, American Heritage 5A, 5A. That just means that they are maple. That's what Vic Firth calls them. And these are totally the sticks for you if you're wanting to have that light, effortless sort of feel that makes it easier to play lightly and quickly and just float around the kit. Now, if you're a beginner getting started, these are great for learning rebound and for getting going with singles and doubles. When you're trying to play doubles well, you're trying to do those rebound driven doubles where you're just letting the stick work and just bounce naturally, it's a lot easier to learn doubles when you have smaller, lighter weight sticks. I'm just gonna tell you that a lot of times beginners struggle with doubles and with rebound because they're using heavier sticks that maybe aren't right for the job. Now eventually, and we'll talk about this a little, a little bit later, eventually it's great to use heavier sticks to build strength. But when you're getting started, it can be so helpful to have lightweight sticks so that that rebound is more effortless, you can work on your singles, 
work on your doubles and just get that, that loose rebound based feel happening that's so essential to smooth fluid drumming, which leads to speed ultimately. Now, the reason why I use these sticks today, I've been playing professionally for over a decade now, it's been a while. I've played a lot of gigs in small rooms and whenever I'm playing a gig, a gig in a small room and I don't wanna use my brushes, 5A maple sticks are so great because when the sticks are lighter weight, they're not smaller, they're the same size as standard 5A sticks, but when they're lighter weight, they encourage me to play lighter because of that whole feel of like, they feel like they just wanna glance off of the drums rather than lay into the drums. So yes, they are quieter by default because they weigh less. Just like if you have a, you know, if you have a beach ball and you drop the beach ball on the ground, it's gonna make less of a thump than if you drop a basketball on the ground, of course. And so there is some truth to that, that the lighter weight stick will naturally be softer. But what's bigger here, the more important thing, is that because it's lighter weight, it will encourage you to play softer because of that whole feeling. And it'll encourage you to still play smoothly and not get clumsy and choppy while playing lightly and even quickly. So these are my small room quiet playing sticks. I use these all the time. I used them on a jazz gig not too long ago. They were awesome for that and helped me just float along nice and effortlessly. You don't want huge sticks when you're playing jazz. These are so great. So biggest purposes for these, working on rebounds, singles and doubles, and then playing softly in any kind of setting where you're working on that light, quick speed and fluidity. That's why every drummer should have these in their stick bag, whether you're a beginner, intermediate, or you've been gigging professionally for a decade. All right, stick number two. These are our all-purpose sticks that you can use for almost everything. They're just a great average medium, and that is just the standard 5A, the 5A stick. This is a Vic Firth 5A, so it's the same size as what we were just looking at, except instead of being made of maple, they're made of hickory, which is the standard type of wood for drumsticks. And so they have the natural feel you would expect. And so they're a good bit heavier than the maple sticks. I think the, the challenge is that sticks either tend to be too skinny and toothpick-like or too small in our hands, or they're just too massive. And these end up being that perfect balance, that perfect in-between, where if you're not trying to play particularly softly and you're not needing to be particularly loud, these are the really good go-to sticks. So if you're a beginner and you're, you're getting these three sticks, you're starting out on the drums, those 5A maples are great for starting out with rebound, like working on the mechanics of your grip. I'll link lessons on that below. And just getting the rebound happening, learning the doubles. But as you start to get those things up to speed, you can graduate. You can think of this as graduating to a heavier stick where now you've got a, it takes a little bit more effort. You have to be a little bit more careful with what you're doing because you've got more weight, more momentum going on here. But these sticks kind of become workout sticks compared to the 5A maples, especially if you're playing doubles and you're starting to incorporate your wrists and your fingers into the doubles. And in a gigging setting, if you're a more inter intermediate or professional drummer out there, these are just great for any kind of gig where you want to have the strength and the power to kind of land to the drums a little bit and have a firmer backbeat. Like if you're playing something that's very rock based and just Nothing particularly loud, but we're also not trying to stay, you know, really quiet. These are great because they've got enough weight you can lay into a backbeat. And what's so important when you're playing rock music is having a consistent and strong backbeat. And if volume is not an issue, you want to be firm with that backbeat, even if we're not playing crazy loud. Now for crazy loud, we'll talk about our next sticks in a moment. But these are so great because you've got some extra weight here compared to the 5A maple. You can lay into a ride cymbal a little bit more and get more of that washy sound. Ride cymbals are where you will notice the difference between different stick types. For instance, if you're pinging on the ride with the 5A maple, that's what it sounds like. Here's the 5A hickory. The sound changes, it gets a little bit washier. Our last stick, you'll definitely notice a difference with it because it'll be even heavier. And so it all depends on what you're playing. You wanna have the right sticks for the job. And when you've got your soft sticks, your medium sticks, and then our loud sticks we'll get to in a moment, then you're set. And so you can use these 5As as your standard, working out the wrists, getting, getting stronger. You can make them your workout sticks if you're a beginner, or as you get more advanced and you do build up that strength, you can sit there on your pad and just make these the standard warm-up sticks. These are just your all-purpose, average-feeling sticks. If you can play things with 5As, you can then go from the 5As to any other type of stick out there.
All right, our last pair of sticks, the five Bs. So the five Bs are a little bit of a jump from the five A because they are bigger for sure. They're made of the same wood type, they're hickory. Uh, they're the same length, same length, but you can see how the tips are a little bit bigger. You, well, slightly different shape, you could think of it that way, but they're just, they're thicker. They're heavier sticks and there's a noticeable difference, a pretty big difference between the five A's and the five B's. So here's the interesting thing about playing loudly, because sometimes we drummers need to play loudly. A lot of times we're being criticized for being too loud, but every once in a while the scenario comes up where we need to play loudly. We need to sound like John Bonham. He's always my loud go-to example, the way he just lays into the drums and lays down such a heavy, compelling, just deep kind of pocket groove. So sometimes that's the kind of feel that we need. And here's what's interesting. If our sticks are too small or too light, it's actually difficult to play loudly well. Like I said a moment ago, you've got to have the right sticks for the job. If you're trying to play softly, don't play with loud sticks, with heavy sticks. If you're trying to play loudly, don't play with light sticks, because then you actually have to work harder. Back to the beach ball basketball example. It's like if you're trying to throw, if you're trying to shoot basketball with a beach ball, you're going to have a hard time, right? Ooh, you're, you're like hurling it through the air and the air resistance just stops it and it falls, doesn't even make it to the goal. Versus the basketball, it's heavier, so yes, it requires more effort, right off the bat, but it's going to go farther. Same with bowling, if you can do a heavier bowling ball, awesome, you're gonna, you have a higher chance of knocking over more pins, but it requires more strength. So that's kind of the catch here, that if you're a beginner, you do have to build up some strength to really handle 5B sticks well. So I don't recommend them for practicing rebound or for doing doubles or singles immediately, though they can be a workout stick. That's where these really can be a great workout stick, where if you've got the mechanics and the grip down to play your singles and your doubles well, and that's feeling great on your practice pad, then you can graduate to the five A's. So going from maple to hickory, heavier sticks, then graduate to the five B's, and these are significantly heavier feeling. And so it really requires a lot of wrist strength, forearm strength, and some fingers to really drive the sticks. And so if you're practicing loud singles with five B's, it's a workout for sure. I use my five B's whenever I am at what I call rim shot volume. So kind of, if you think of different tiers of volume on, volume on the drums, there's the, the really light volume where you wanna make sure you stay very light on the cymbals. Because cymbal, you have to be careful because that's what tends to get loud. But you can still be, you know, decent volume on the drums. And that's where I would use my 5A maples. But if I can allow a little bit more cymbal volume, then I want more stick weight to kind of crash the cymbals. So that's where the 5A hickory comes into play. But if I wanna get louder still, because at that point I'm gonna get even louder on the cymbals, I need a firmer backbeat, which means I need to be able to play a rim shot. So instead of just playing. That sounds fine, but let's say I'm going really loud and so I need a, a, a backbeat, a snare hit that really cuts through the mix. You can hear the difference there. And rim shots are almost, once you've practiced them, I'll link a lesson below about the, the detail of how to play a good sounding rim shot backbeat like John Bonham might. But rim shots, once you practice them, become easy and effortless when you have a big stick. Now what's really interesting, if I pull out my 5A maple and I try to play rim shots, they're not as consistent and I have a hard time with them. It's kind of like, you know, if you have a one pound bowling ball, that bowling ball is probably not gonna knock over very many pins once it gets there. But if you've got a heavier, you know, 16 pound bowling ball, as long as you've got the strength there and you know what you're doing, you've got a much higher chance of wiping them all out and getting a strike. It's really a lot like that with drumsticks where, when you've got a 5B hickory stick, there's so much weight and momentum here that when you get the hang of it and you get the feel of it, you've got your grip feeling good, you've worked on these fundamental mechanics, again, that I'm linking below. There's a lot of other things we can talk about that we're not digging into today, otherwise we'd be here for a long time. But when those things are squared away, these rim shot backbeats can just become autopilot and they become so nice and consistent and, and great feeling because you have this heavy stick that naturally lays into the drum. That's where our 5Bs are the opposite of the 5A maples. Remember the 5A maples glance off the drums for that quick lightweight playing for working on rebound and just floating around the kit. But if now we want to lay into the drums more, the 5Bs are the tool for the job.
So if there's any doubt whatsoever over what three types of sticks you should get if you're a beginner, or if you're just trying to narrow down and you've tried a million sticks and you just need to settle in on a few basic ones that you're always gonna use, make it a pair of quiet playing sticks, medium playing sticks, loud playing sticks. And I highly recommend the 5A Maple, 5A Hickory, 5B Hickory. You can go with Vic Firth or any other brand. I don't officially endorse anybody. I'm just a fan of Vic Firth. It happens that the very first pair of drumsticks I ever bought were Vic Firth, and so I've bought Vic Firth ever since. Their sticks are fantastic. So go get what you want to get, but hey, question for you in the comments as we wrap up. Let's get some discussion going. I know we all love debating uh, these kinds of things. What's your favorite drumstick? Do you like one of these sticks? Or is there a totally different other stick out there that you like? Because by the way, it's totally fine to like another stick out there. You don't have to go with one of these three. I recommend you start with these three, but you might find down the road that there's another stick that suits you better. I'll be honest though, these are the only three sticks I use. If I didn't mention that already, these are the three sticks that I use and that's it. I've got some other brushes and hot rods and things like that, but as far as sticks go, it is literally just my 5A Maples, 5A Hickories, 5B Hickories. That is all. I like to keep it really simple. And so I've been using just these three pairs of sticks for over a decade of playing with people, a decade or so of playing professionally now, and these are my go-tos. So tell me in the comments below, what is your favorite drumstick? Let's talk about it. I know we all love this kind of stuff. And hey, before you go, grab that 25 practical rock grooves and fills for the Beginner Drummer E-Guide. It's gonna help you be able to nail songs quickly, get you up and running, knowing what to play so that you can have fun on the drums. It is just a really cool PDF that's got notation and recordings, whether you wanna learn visually or learn by ear, it's all right there for you. You'll have a lot of fun with that. Thanks for hanging out today. This has been a lot of fun. Know that you can do this. I'll see you on the next lesson. Stay non-glamorous.